then there was this. Uh, I saw this. This was um, this was passing my Twitter timeline the other day. Um, you, not, it's nothing you'll ever have to worry about. It's nothing I'll ever have to worry about, unless it revert to my Welsh name. Um, but basically, a woman complained uh, because she wasn't able to make an account on a social media site because her surname was Wiener. Right, and and um, they they blocked it. Her name was Natalie Weiner, and uh, yes, she says she has problems, you know, being allowed to make social media accounts because her name is considered offensive. Um, now there's a list of names here. Sure, it's not just because they're trying to stop Anthony Weiner making more social media. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. If they just banned everyone with that last name. <clears throat> I mean, listen. Um, I, I I think it's a little bit kind of fucking stupid, isn't it? That it's like, right? You, you, words, like naughty words, bad words, the words we consider bad, very often, in almost all cases, very often, uh, they start out as being a word for something else. So... I, I'm pretty sure they didn't name the wiener sausage after the penis. Do you know what I mean? I, I think it was the other way around. You named the penis after the sausage, right? Right? I think so, yeah. I mean, that would make sense, know. It right? could be either way, I no, guess. No, there's no way. Like, who would name food after a dick? <laughs> well, if it's a shape of a knob. <laughs> so, makes sense. That's how it would work, right? And, you know, I'm trying there to think. Go. Wien means Vienna, so it just means Vienna. Sausage. There you go, it's see? Vienna. Yeah. So a wiener is a Vienna sausage, and then because wiener is what they were called, like Wiener schnitzel or whatever, they, they said, ha-ha, wiener, it looks like a, a dick. So, we, you know. so <clears throat> effectively what you're doing there is you're banning a word that has sort of become a kind of, a, a, you know, almost like an in-joke in and of itself, right? So I think that's all, like a very weird, slippery road to go down. Because, you know, there's going to be like unpopular names. Like I've, I've talked about this before, I think, on the show. There's going to be names like, you know, look, there's a, again, to keep it Counter-Strike. Just John keep, Harris. No, not Ben Tech. Keep it Counter-Strike. Right, we'll keep it Counter-Strike. There's an observer that everyone likes called Prius. I think he's in the chat right now. Mate. Probably he is. Now, I like Prius. He's a little baby-faced kid. He's so fucking innocent. It's like, you know, he doesn't understand. Um, There's a story I want to tell, and I shouldn't. But it's fucking hilarious. But I can't. I love him too much. I don't want to hurt him. Uh, but he's a, he's a fucking innocent kid, is what I'll say. And he, do, he hasn't lived a lot. He doesn't see things. He doesn't read signals, <laughs> you know. He's um, he's just a baby-faced little kid, and you know him as Prius. But here's the problem: when he first started as an observer and trying to get into the scene and be a personality or whatever the fuck, he used to special use, K, mate. <laughs> yeah, he used to use his name, which was his real surname, which is Cunts. So he was trying to get work <laughs> with the name DJ Cunts. Right? <laughs> that and is it, metal. And he couldn't fucking get it. I know. He didn't get it, mate. ESL. Why does this guy, this troll keep emailing me about work? He didn't understand why no one was returning his calls. Like, hello, I'm DJ Cunts. <laughs> Can I observe your Counter Strike Can event, I have please? A job, please. He didn't understand it, mate. He didn't get it. He used, to, he used, to, he doesn't understand why using the name cunts was probably a hindrance. But here's the thing: I think in a lot of ways, um, he's you know he's tapped into something, hasn't he? Because we shouldn't. <laughs> it's not his fault. He's been named after a word that derived from the uh, the, the word cunny. Which was used as offensive slang to describe the female genitalia in medieval England. It's not his fault. Is Canalingus. It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
What, you know, what, why? It's not his fault, is it? We shouldn't be prejudiced against him. We should be able to keep that. It's his real name. <laughs> it's not like one of them Gabba artists where it's like DJ Violent, DJ Skinhead, <laughs> DJ, DJ Cunt. Violence. He's real, DJ man. Violence. Yeah, DJ Violence. Fuck, you know. DJ Violent. Yeah, Violent, yeah. Uh, DJ Violent. I think, pretty sure it was DJ Violent. Might have been Johnny Violent. But I'm pretty sure it was DJ Violent. <laughs> There's, de- there's definitely Johnny D- come violent. There's definitely a DJ skinhead. DJ skinhead is a fucking gabber artist. They used. To, I'll tell you how I know this. There was um. There was like a. There's a mix album, um. Of all like it's like a sampler. You remember samplers? You know where it yeah. was like you would just get one song by by an artist who were all on the same record label, and it was like record labels would send them out to say like these are the artists we have. You know, but and they're called samplers, and. Uh, yeah, when I back when I used to be a music journalist, I uh, one of my four hundred jobs, I um, fucking got this one called Industrial Strength. I don't even know if it's still. It's probably still. But you can probably Google this Industrial Strength, and it was all Gabba artists. And some of the music that was on it was just unreal. I don't. I don't understand how humans could listen to it. Um, but I remember. In fact, I'm, just, I'm I'm googling it now. Make sure it wasn't a fucking drugged up fever dream. Um, I mean, fuck. Yeah, gab it up your ass. Industrial strength by Rob G. This is this is you got. I, no, hang on, let me just. I'm I'm gonna link you this so people can understand. Uh, Put it on the dock, but the bottom. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do it. I'm, just listen to the fucking state of this. I got sent this sampler album as a music. Deal. It's not even music. What you send it to me for? They, they, they should have used this instead of Metallica to torture people, right? This is and it was. It's a sampler full of this. Yeah, and there's Rob G. Gabber up your ass. DJ Violent. DJ Skinner. Wait, the beat hasn't come in yet. It's coming. Oh. It's this for four minutes now. It's, it's this for four minutes now. Soft get lost! If you're soft, get lost! If you're soft, get lost! <laughs> So, um, c- can you fucking imagine this? Uh, it's a whole al- it's a whole it. album like this. It's a whole album. Um, <laughs> it's a whole. There's like sixteen tracks. They all sound the same. The only difference is occasionally it'll have like. There's one that samples network. I can't remember who did that. Um, but there was one on it that sampled network. You know, I want everyone. It, it does. It's a Gabba song called Mad as Hell. Yeah. Um, hang on, let me see if I can find that. I, I remember it being called Mad as Hell. Ralphie D, same guy, is it? Oh no, no, that was uh, oh, yeah, Robbie G. Like Sorry, Robbie my bad. G and Ralphie get D. Up now. Yeah, see, I this is all right. This is a good sample, but the music's garbage. Right now, then go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell. I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not gonna take this anymore. Yeah, and then straighten them out. Although, it, wait, none of you, you missed out the bit because it starts going mad as hell, mad as hell. Can you just imagine being drugged up, sweating, dancing? Mad as hell. Mad as hell. Mad as hell. But this is, whenever I see the name DJ Cunts, that's what I think. <laughs> mad as hell. Mad as hell, mate. Yeah, they don't make them like this anymore. They don't make them like that anymore. Um, so there you go. Flash madness, you maniacs! You maniacs! 